everyone. Welcome back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Hey, today is Side Dish Saturday. It's exciting because Chef William stopped by, and today we're going to be talking about mushrooms, a couple of different kinds. We have some real large, nice-looking organic uh, mushrooms here. Can't pronounce the name of it. I'll put it in the show notes. But I also have some small mushrooms here to talk to you about how to make your mushrooms last three times longer. Everybody, you know, William, they buy these mushrooms and they want to use them. It's so exciting to have mushrooms, you know, for your meal. But you put them in the refrigerator and when you go to use them, they're back. So here's the trick. You take a paper bag, you take the container, and you put them in the bag. Just like this. A little hard to do with a big container. And they're kind of stuck in there. So you put them in the bag, hold the bag, I would put the date on it and then put it in the refrigerator and you will be amazed. Send me a comment after you try this. Your mushrooms will last three times longer than what they would if you just threw the container in. And you know, they say to do the same thing with meat. They say don't store meat in the container that it comes in because it leaks air. Air is really your enemy when storing food. So, and Ziploc bags don't work because they build moisture, which condensates and causes mold. So that's why people use the food saver bags and things like that. So there we go. We'll save those for another day. So let's talk about what we're going to do today. Our ingredients are going to be two kinds of cheeses. We're going to use a uh, sharp cheddar for half of them, and then the uh, Peckham Romano um, Parmesan cheese, so I'll grate up some of that. We're going to have some garlic, so here's a brand new clove of garlic I'll have to get open. And then for the meat, I'm going to use chicken sausage, so this should be really, 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 really good. Okay, and there's the mushrooms if you want to open that one. I already went through these here. There's a couple of different sizes. One is larger than the other. And um, what we've done is we've gone through and uh, pulled the center out. So you've got a spoon, I got a spoon. So all you want to do is just put your spoon in the center of these and just kind of go around a little bit and hold them tight and just pop the center out. So it's a, a little tough to you do a few, but. Um, and they kind of want to break. If you don't squeeze them when you pop that center out, they'll want to break on you. So that's, that's the first thing we're going to do here. We'll get these all set and ready to go. Squeeze. Just like that. Around. It's out of here. And you know mushrooms, you can't wash them in water. You can wipe them off with paper towel if they're a little dirty or something. but. That's about all you can do. As far as the measurements go for all this, if you want, you can go to the website, which is jamestdds.blogspot.com, and there'll be ingredients and measurements there. Also on YouTube, if you click the subscribe button on the bottom, you'll see the more button and the list of ingredients and options and things will all be there. But for us, we're going to kind of just do this by feel. We're going to try and not measure today. We're going to just make it freehand, just Saturday is a casual day and we're going to have some fun. So let's get started. Uh, William is going to be mixing things up and I'm going to be in charge of cutting things. So let's get some cheese ready to go here. Now I have to get the cheese grater out as well. and. Uh, there's our bag of cheese. These are the first ones we're going to make. So we'll do some cheddar in the first batch and then this in the second batch. Now for the meat, our plan is to take this package and open it and then to put them in the food processor. So I'm just going to cut them in half and we'll see if it's small enough for William to throw them in the food processor. So we'll see how that works out. Now the garlic, this is a little tough getting the uh, brand new 
whole bulb opened up here. You need several of these. You know, I like to use three or four. So, there's three. There's a fourth one. Just like this. Could you grab a little clear container over there? Just how about something on the top? I got any little clear containers? Yeah, that's perfect right there. That's, that's the one we needed. I don't need that anymore. So here's the garlic. And I think what we should do is, I think we should use my garlic musher thing. That electric spinning, the one with the white lid right there. Yeah, my favorite one I'm always bragging about. You know, that thing was only like 12 bucks or something on the internet. It's just, it's amazing how some appliances can be really good and you like them and, you know, you're happy that you bought them. And I have some stuff that I'm not happy that I bought. I think everybody saw me throw away the uh, avocado cutter tool. That was, that was a big fail. That thing went right in the trash can. So this is the easy way to do it here. And of course you can also use a garlic press if you want. But I like it a little bit more chunky, so I think this is a good way. You want to push that button for a little bit there and let that run. And our breadcrumbs, they're all set and ready to go. Alright, cool. So, you got it? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's throw it in there. Throw it all in there. Okay, and then this, what I like to do with this, just go like this. That's what you can use your finger if you want. You washed your hands, we're good. And the cheese we're gonna put in last. So let's let's throw some of these. Let's try this. I don't know how many of these that thing's gonna take. Why don't you try why don't you try putting in two? first. Just kind of squeeze those little rascals in there and let's try to make mush out of that sausage. And then uh, whatever we don't use for mushrooms, we'll just cook up and eat. That was pretty good, huh? Wow, one sausage makes a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm surprised I didn't know it was going to make that much. Hmm. How about that, huh? Okay. Set that on there like that. Wow. So we're only going to probably need two sausages for, yeah. you know, one, one for each one. Or, you know, that batch looks like you have enough. Yeah. So why don't we split that batch for the cheese? Yeah, I have to grade the cheese. I got to get a cheese grater. You need another bowl? And I need another mixing bowl. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to get the cheese grater. Mm -hmm. If you would grab another mixing bowl right off the top shelf there. And let's split that out so we don't have so much. Now the cheese grater normally was right here in the bottom drawer. But the cheese grater might have migrated somewhere. cheese to one of the uh, bowls, the cheddar. Yeah. So I will cut up the cheese for us here. And I guess what's nice about doing it this way is you can use as much or as little cheese as you need and kind of do it a little at a time. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so you're separating them. Yes. You got uh, some in one and some in the other. Yes. Okay, so here you want some Parmesan. That's probably enough. We already did the cheddar. 
You know, one thing I noticed is, is that you can make this a little oily if you want so that they stick by putting in more olive oil. So you can adjust your, your mix to how liquid or dry you want it by adjusting the, um, the olive oil. Okay, so shall we get a few of these things out of the way here and we can get working again? And you know, you can put other stuff in here too. Um, that can go over to your right because you're already done with it, right? Did you put that in already? Um, do we need to put it on top of the... Oil? Yeah, we do. Yeah, you're right. Okay, you're right. All right, well... We're done with the parsley, right? Uh, done with the parsley, so there was a lid and it's right here. Yeah, because this parsley, you know, it's, it's hard to buy parsley and it doesn't last. So, uh, salt and pepper. And, and you use those already? Good, because they were brand new and I didn't test them to see how they work. That goes with that little grinder thing, so. And uh, we're done with the cheese for now? Yes. All right, cool. Wow. We're going to be eating, we're going to be eating mushrooms in no time. Okay, well, I guess we're ready to start putting them on there, huh? Should I move a few things and make room here for you to bring the baking dish over? Sure, I'll get out of your way so you can do that. Okay, well, there's some for you, and I'll take some for me, and why don't you bring that bowl over into the middle. And uh, actually, why don't I do this bowl and you do that bowl? How's that for a deal, huh? Sounds good. Okay. Just going to fill these up just like this. This is pretty easy. I mean, on the scale of, you know, a lot of things that we make, are more complex. And both of these have sausage in them now? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, wow, that sausage ground up really well. We can just cook up the rest of that sausage and eat it with it. Look at that, huh? This is fun. I'm glad you stopped by today, William. You gotta come over more often. You're welcome. These look like they're going to be amazing. Yeah. So we put these in the oven. We have to preheat the oven. Um, 400. Yeah, okay, 400. <laughs> Thanks, I couldn't remember. I was at a blank and don't have it loaded on the screen. So um, we're going to cook these uh, 400 degrees. So while you finish yours up, I'm going to uh, preheat the oven for us. And, of course, don't forget the big important thing. Make sure there's nothing in the oven before you turn it on. Do you want me to make three more? There's sure. Three. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of bits left. Okay. Barb has to be looking at these saying those look real good. And you're gonna have just enough room for those, huh? Yeah. You got some left over, but that's okay. Okay. So that's fine, yeah. We don't uh, we don't really care about making them all right, right. Um, we can maybe we'll do something else with those other mushrooms maybe we'll experiment and do something with those I'll put them what is in the oven? yeah why don't you throw them in the oven I have another little tin dish here do it good do it well okay so here's my, my next suggestion. My next suggestion is for the last three mushrooms, yeah. we put both of them together so you got two cheeses and three mushrooms. Give it a stir and let's fill her up. And we'll do those on this tin sheet. There's one for each of us. Mm -hmm. So we'll taste, see how that works. We're inventing on the fly here. Pack it in, fill it up. We got a lot of that, huh? This is great for a side dish. This will go with any meal. And uh, they won't last long. This is like bacon. 
and by the way, you could put bacon in here if you wanted to, I suppose. I know William puts bacon on everything. How about that, huh? Okay, throw those in the oven too. And we'll be right back as soon as these are cooked. There's the first one. That's the that's the little one that we did. There's all the cheese caps. Here's the big one. Oh, oh goodness! Look at that. Wow, they look great. amazing. Yeah, <laughs> don't And they they smell really good too. Wow, that's crazy. So, what we're supposed to do, I guess, is to grab one of these. Very carefully, come out here like this. So, here's what I'm going to do. I don't know which ones are which, so we're just going to basically taste these. This one here, we know this was this was different, so I'll set this one off to the side. Okay, and then we'll call this a done deal. So, everybody, thank you for watching. This is our show for the day. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, let's ask a question of the day. If you like cheese, hit the thumbs up button. Anybody that likes cheese, hit the thumbs up button right now. Goodbye for now.